These highlights are brought to you by your San Diego County Toyota dealers and by Fix Auto. Hey there sports fans, Christian Pedersen here with SDPI. We're out at El Cap today. The sun is shining. A great day for water polo. Let's roll the highlights. Our first game of the day, Escondido taking on Classical Academy. Let's go ahead and pick this one up in overtime. All knotted up at five when Hannah Blancett puts one in. Escondido on top. Moments later, Haley Adelano in goal for Escondido helps pick up even more momentum, but then Brenna Bryant for Classical finds herself a loose ball, some open water, scores to tie things up. We go last two minutes. Someone's got to be a hero. Someone on one of these teams has to find a clutch shot to take. Kayla Torbett answers the call for the Caymans as she scores the game winner there. Classical Academy wins a nail biter. Let's hear from Torbett after the game. It feels pretty good. It's really awesome to um, be able to really support your team and teammates and be able to get that last goal. That's the Claremont Chieftains as they are getting ready to play modern day Catholic. What you got to know is that these Claremont Chieftains, if you have not seen them yet this year, they are a very efficient, fun to watch, offensive group. First score, Zoe Kurrigan. That's a finesse thing right there. Later, Katie Flynn, offensive rebound. Yeah, we, we get it done in all sorts of ways. All sorts of players, all sorts of styles. Like I said, this Claremont Chieftains team can score with the best of them. Another one there. On the other side, modern day, Jenna Cruz was the one player who had herself a little bit of a game. You see her scoring off the penalty here. Let's throw in one more Claremont goal. This one will be Abby Keegan as she fights through a couple of Crusaders, turns and fires one. Claremont running away with this one. Let's hear from Abby Keegan after the game. I just think we played really well together today. I mean, coming off of five games over the weekend up in Diamond Bar. It's a great win for everyone. <laughs> Our last game of the day, El Capitan in the darks, San Pasqual in the lights. Start you right out the gate with a little bit of San Pasqual offense courtesy of Mia Holman as she's gonna put up a rainbow arcing shot of sorts, if you will. Eagles score first, but then it was all Caros from there on out. Carly Morehouse, turn and shoot with some stop. Moments later, another one from Morehouse. The passing and the efficiency from El Cap very impressive today. This one, Lindsay Michaelis, as she scores from deep. He said, hey, they just got everything going their way. Catherine Bresnicker, great saves in goal for El Cap. Holly Debenham will show you a little bit of her with the left-handed shot. Oh, lasers right by everybody. And then let's just throw in one more save because saves are fun to watch when you got a good goalie going at it. El Cap gets the big time dub. Let's hear from Carly Morehouse after the game. A couple times we were trying to run this thing we call rip, where we're crossing, our drivers are crossing down and our wings are coming up. And I play the center forward position called hole. Um, sometimes we get too close and we're just kind of working on when I have inside water, either on the right or the left side of me, we were trying to get the ball down to our wing and get it in on that side and do sort of like a backdoor thing. And um, sometimes we're a little successful, sometimes we weren't. And I tried doing this thing we call wet shots where I get a lot of fast breakaways where I hop off of people when the shot clock's getting really low. Um, and sometimes I can get down there and do a wet shot. And I tried a couple times this game. I got, I think I got one of them in, but yeah. 